All right, so we're here today with Mr. Rugged Man out at the uh, Expo. What's the name of this Expo? Uh, this is the Beverly Hills uh, Health and Beauty Expo. Okay. And what brings you out today? Oh, I'm out here to, uh, first of all, to advertise my new book, uh, The Lord of Discipline, uh, Mr. Rugged Man's Mean, Mean Working Out Machine. Let's see. You got a copy with you? Yes, sir, I do. Would you like to see that? Okay. So, Mr. Rugged Man, Five Steps to Fitness Success. And uh, tell us a little bit about the book. Well, the, book is fresh, uh, the book deals with the, fun of, the fundamentals of life through health and fitness. And one of the main things about it is it, it makes you aware of how important discipline is in your life. With discipline in your life, anything is possible, and everything is possible. And that's the basics of life. So is it a nutritional book, is it a philosophy book, or is it a, a exercise book? It actually deals with every aspect of life, physically, mentally, and socially. Okay. So you, 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 you help a person to develop their whole self? From the head to the toes, dedicated to the life in general. It helps you to be the very best that you can be. Okay. How did you get started in fitness? Uh, actually, um, being an athlete, playing football, baseball, running track, uh, doing things of that nature, it, it just kind of like come hand in hand. Um, if you uh, play sports, you have to eat right, you have to be active, and that has a lot to do with being the physical being and the mental being. So I'm already right there, so why go anywhere else when you already got it right there? Right on. Yeah. And so this particular book, this is your second book, right? Uh, actually, it's the second edition of the first one. Okay. Uh, second edition. Uh, there's been some things that remain the same, and some of them have changed. But basically, it's, it's about being the best you can be. So you, you basically updated the first book? Yes, I did. Uh, okay. Because uh, 10 years ago, 11 years ago, I was in a car accident, and I was paralyzed from my neck down. Mm. And so the doctors told me there was nothing that they could do for me. So I had to take it in my own hands and take care of business. And you, you fully recovered from it? Fully recovered from it. You know, as you can look at me and see, I'm fully recovered. After being, you know, after being paralyzed from my neck down. You were paralyzed from your neck down? From my neck down, paralyzed. And, and how did you how did you come back? Oh, uh, a lot of lot of mental mental power, a lot of prayer, a lot of prayers, and a lot of jacuzzi. <laughs> the, jacuzzi the, the jacuzzi did wonders for my life. It, it helped me so many ways to be what I am today, and to put everything back in its perspectives and put it back together for me. Tell me a little bit about what what does the jacuzzi do? Is it stimulating and giving you uh, energy? And what does the jacuzzi do? You know, I'm gonna tell you, I don't know what it really do, but I know it made it possible for my body to heal. It made it possible for my body to heal, and once my body started to heal, I started to feel better about myself, and I started to feel that I could really get it done. I could make the difference and get back to where I was. Great. And and now you were able to fully start exercising again? Yeah. After how long? Mm. Well, that took some time. Uh, actually, uh, I cried for almost four years every day mm. because the pain was so excruciating. Uh, being that uh, my neck, my two and three vertebrae were sticking into my spinal cord. So that was murder. I had electricity running down both of my arms from the center of my neck. The electricity 24 hours a day. And I had 
to deal with that. Wow. That is amazing. That was unbelievable. Wow. You know, but and with hard work and prayer, it'll get you there. All right. Way to go.